Hey, what's up brothers and sisters? God bless you. And I wanted to just tell you have a beautiful week. It's Monday again. And uh, yeah, chilling one where I'm at over here in Edwardsville, Illinois. And I learned from a man this weekend and uh, talked about standing on the promises of God. Like he's like, oh, he's, I set the room and you know how he's like, I, we have authority and just hearing him explain it was amazing. And um, he was like, yeah, you have to get a promise of God and stand on it. Say today, this second, I'm going to stand on this promise, you know, and um we're human beings. We have feelings and emotions that are that are can be difficult for us. And uh, James chapter five, you know, it says, "Is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is any cheerful? He should sing praises. Is anyone among you sick? He should call the elders for, of the church." And they, they are to pray over him or her, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise them up. If he has committed sins, or she has committed sins, they will be forgiven. Therefore, after all this it says, therefore, confess your sins to one another. I got to do that this weekend. Oh, it was, it was amazing to just speak all those things, you know, harboring inside. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is a very, is very powerful in its effect. Elijah was a human being as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and for three years and six months, it did not rain on the land. Then he prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the land produced its fruit. So my brothers and sisters, if any among you strays from the truth. So I love how it goes back to the beginning of this scripture. It says, if any of you are sick, if any of you are cheering, if any of you are uh, suffering. And then it talks about the power of faith and prayer, and then it goes back to it. So it says, my brothers and sisters, if any among you strays from the truth and someone turns him back, let that person know that whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of, of, of sins, you know? And then you can go into the laborers worthy of their reward and... You know how beautiful are the feet of those who bring forth the tidings of the good news. And, you know, it's God who gives the increase, you know, the water and the planter. You know, like when it says, we're nobody, for it's God who gives the increase, right? That's denial. That's us denying ourselves, denying your, your office. You know, like like Paul, he, he was the greatest apostle that walked the earth, right? But he denied himself. He considered his life dung. He said that, you know, I don't deserve this, but I am who I am because of the grace of God. And this right here talks about that too. Like, like uh, you know, I struggle with this. And, you know, God's trying to help everybody through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And uh, I learned that this morning on a, on a sermon. And so I want to encourage you this week to uh, do that. This week, try to do that and pray, pray to God to give you strength, you know and deny yourself if you have an office if you're a pastoral counselor if you're you're an apostle you're a prophet preacher teacher evangelist whatever um remember that a water and planter they're nobody it's god who gives the increase and uh, that's that denial you know jesus said if anybody wants to follow me they must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and so today's monday tomorrow is tuesday yesterday was sunday but what's right now Right now is Monday morning, right? 6.03 a.m. And you can bring stuff from tomorrow that affects your today. I encourage you, I'm gonna try to do this, is uh, take it one day at a time. <laughs> and, uh, cause, and you know, my thing is, I'm not gonna bring any more of yesterday, yester week, yester month, yester year into my life. It's all been dropped, forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you got to, also keep the door closed of tomorrow because it will hinder your walk today right 
and you are taking something that hasn't even existed yet from tomorrow and you're letting it uh, trouble you with today. So don't do that. Do what James says, you know, those who cheer, cheer, those who need, uh, those who are suffering, pray for, and yeah, enjoy the fight and the roller coaster ride. Cause when you're, when you are a holder of the light, the truth, you know, you'll know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Freedom is breaking through bondage and chains in Jesus name. So when you walk through a workplace, like I'm gonna go through this workplace, right? I mean, when Jesus walked around, you, now you are shining in dark places. And when you shine in dark places, get ready because you're gonna feel the pressure of the system, the society, you're gonna feel the pressure of mockers, scoffers, and last days mockers and scoffers will come. We know that to be true, it's written, all that's written is true and forever. So don't let it slow you down. Don't let it steal your joy. And uh, if you need to mourn for some people who are lost, then let it out, mourn. But don't, like we can get easily caught up in that. If you're like me, we're like, I'll think I need to mourn all day. No, you might, you, the Lord might be calling you to mourn for a specific group. There might be five people, six people, seven people that he's telling you to mourn with, right? And you're going to mourn for them. And you might get some righteous anger for, for somebody too. But that, don't carry it all day, you know? Just uh, pray and then release and then move on. And then he'll use you on down the road too for something else. That's what's cool about it. So I wanted to wish you a happy Monday. And uh, I hope you all have a beautiful day, beautiful, blessed day. And uh, yeah, God be with you always.